This is Tyler TJ Survival and Survival Dispatch. So if you're in the backcountry, what do you do if you don't have a handy dandy hatchet or a pocket knife? The answer is simple. Stick with me and I'll show you. I was walking in here and this kind of like a, a this is actually a dike to a river here to keep it from overflowing. So it's full of all these little round river rocks. And if you're cruising along and you're out in a place where you don't have a knife, I actually forgot my neck knife today, which happens. I always have my pocket knife. Squirrel moment. You all asked me earlier in a video, what kind of folder do I have? The folder that I have is a DPX HEST, H-E-S-T. I like this because it's got this locking mechanism that makes it virtually impossible to collapse and fold over on my hand. And I have actually batoned with this thing, which is a no-no for folders, but it, I just kind of abused the crap out of it for about six to eight years now. Um, it has a micro bevel on it, or it had a micro bevel on it, and I've used it and sharpened it so much that it's become a convex bevel. I've redone the tip of it. So I have just beat the crap out of this knife, and that's one of my favorite folders. Okay, back from the squirrel moment. So if I don't have a knife, if I don't have a hatchet or some sort of sharp edge, what do I do? There is a real simple answer to that question. I nap a rock. Now, is this flint napping quality? No, this is a horrific rock. But it's representative of the average crap you're gonna find in most areas. So this is what I'm gonna use. Now, the way that I'm gonna deal with this, uh, my special sitting rock. The way that I'm gonna deal with this is I'm gonna get another rock and I'm gonna try to hit this at right about that kind of an angle. And all you really want is the river-shaped rocks, right? The shape's what's most important. Now, if you fly, find some sort of chert or obsidian or something amazing, use that. Clearly, that is the ideal and preferred material to use. But if you are in the rest of the planet where pretty much this is the norm, this is what you go to. And essentially all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another rock and I'm gonna try to pop these off, okay? At that much of an angle. That's gonna create uh, that little bust chunks off, right? I can't even remember the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna flip it over and try to hit it next to it, right? Bust the next chunk off, turn it over. And I'm just gonna continue this all down the length of the rock. Until I start getting a jagged edge. Admittedly, this is kind of an ugly jagged edge. And I'm hitting the low point on this, or trying really hard and missing. Till eventually I have a serrated edge down the length of the rock. That's a little bit ugly, but the reality is it's a cutting edge. This is good enough that I can create a notch in a hearth board. This is good enough that I can scrape the uh, bark off the outside of my bow for a friction fire. This is good enough that I can scrape open a rabbit, process it, or any small game. This is not amazing, but it will give you a cutting edge that works. A cutting edge that's good enough. Sometimes good enough is all that really matters, right? Traditionally, we would know these as hand axe or hand edge, and it just gives me the ability to start cutting into wood by grinding it, right? You can see it's not pretty, but if this was a hearth board, I would be able to create enough of a notch that I can run my bow there. I can kind of grind this in here on the top, keep cutting through it. Whew. 
And that's my fallback if I don't have a knife. This is a really quick and simple skill, but you can do it just about anywhere. So next time you're in the back country or you're just out for a hike, go look for a round shaped rock, get another one, start busting a couple of pieces off of it, and then flip it back and forth. until you've got a nice long serrated cutting edge. And after you grind this piece flat, come back and take chunks off of it again. And you'll bring back the sharpness so that you can continue to make whatever it is that you want to make. Hopes that's valuable. Uh, if you've got better ideas or ways to create sharp edges, let me know. This is a really quick tip, but it's super valuable. The first time I saw this, I was like, and uh, all right, thanks for watching. That was so stupid. <laughs> Let's try that again. That was so stupid. Let's try that again.